Hey everyone, for today's drawing tutorial, I am going to create a pen and ink sketch with two colors. So I got this idea from this book, Working with Color by Shari Blockhoff. And on these two pages, there are some examples of art books that were created with two colors. So we have this one here. This was drawn by Nina Johansson. So she used a fountain pen with black ink and for the red lines, that's a red ballpoint pen. Very nice and interesting contrast here. And here, this example, this is by William Cordero Hidalgo. Black ink with blue watercolor. This is a nice contrast as well, very nice effect. And here we have pencil and watercolor by Virginia Hine. This is red and I'm not sure what color this is. Probably paint gray or something. This book is nice. There are a lot of ideas I can try. So let me show you the reference photo that I will be using today. So this photograph was taken in Macau. This is a street scene. And there is this green lamppost on the left side. So obviously I'll be drawing this with green ink. And we have the building section here, which I'm going to draw with black ink. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can download the reference photo from the link in the video description below. Since I am at home, I will be using this. This is Dr. PH Martin's Bombay India ink. This color is aqua. I have my watercolor sketchbook and I will be using this glass pen with this India ink. If you want to use watercolor, make sure to use ink that is waterproof when dry. After the sketch is completed, I'll be using watercolor to color it. It's actually not easy to draw with this India ink because the ink doesn't flow very well. And it seems like it's drying quite fast. And notice the two ink blobs that I accidentally created. So you cannot get those with fountain pens or even the ballpoint pen. Sometimes they look great, sometimes they don't. It really depends on what you are trying to achieve. Oops, this is wrong. Oops, I have another ink blob here. This is almost done. Let me just add some details. So this part of the sketch is done. It's pretty straightforward. And now I can draw this side. So I'm using my Pelican M200 fountain pen. I am going to draw the big building first. And this diagonal line, this perspective line, it's quite challenging. So it actually comes down to this point here, which is somewhere around here. So it's like this. And uh, Horizon line, it's somewhere around here. So I need, let me just put a point there to remind me. And this road actually curves up like this. I think I shall draw from the left to the right so that I don't run my hand over the ink later on. By the way, if you are interested in learning perspective drawing, I actually have an online drawing course that talks about the cover's perspective. So that course is designed for beginners who feel overwhelmed when, coming, when it comes to drawing perspective. It's available on my Gumroad page. The link is in the video description below. Drawing is a very relaxing activity. You don't have to worry too much about anything. You just have fun, just relax and then draw what you see in front of you. It's quite therapeutic. And when your sketch comes to life, when you start seeing your sketch come to life, you know what I mean? It's very satisfying. Now this side here, this is where it's most challenging to draw because there is so much details and the, the perspective is quite challenging. And also my reference photo 
it's quite dark and I am not able to see a lot of details. I can probably draw this more easily on location because our eyes they are actually more sensitive compared to what the camera can capture. Maybe I shall just draw the balconies that I can see and then fill in the details. And there are a lot of air conditioning units. Maybe I shall use that to my advantage. Maybe I should just draw all those air conditioning units instead. And that would mean that I can use those things to block the window so that I don't have to draw the windows. The bottom here it's very challenging as well because it's in shade, it's in shadow. It's very difficult for me to make out the to see the details. I can see this guy here who is trying to move his motorbike, so maybe I will draw him. But as for the motorbike, I mean the many motorbikes that are there, it's a bit um sure what I shall do with them. Maybe I shall draw a few. So this is the shape of those bikes which if you take a close look they don't resemble motorbikes at all. Mirrors for the bikes. So I'm just going to draw these lines to suggest the uh, motorbikes. This vertical line is to suggest the shops, the people walking on the street behind. These little circles to suggest the mirrors for the motorbikes. Now ideally, when I'm drawing on location, if I'm able to see clearly, I will draw at least one motorbike in detail so that people know that, hey, this is a motorbike. So this is the completed sketch and now I can color it. I'll be using phthalo green mixed with a little bit of red just to neutralize it to color this directional signpost. So let me get the shape of this sign right. I'm adding a bit of magenta to darken the shadow side. I'm done with the green, so now I'm going to use the same phthalo green to mix with a magenta to create the gray tones to color the building. And the shadows basically cover every part except for this part here and some of these parts here. So I'm going to use a very light wash of shadow to paint this whole area here first. Just to set the look get a very light look. So this is mixed with phthalo green and magenta. I need to tilt my sketchbook so that the water can run down. So this part here it's in light as well. I don't want to color cover over that. This will be in shadow. So this is basically a two color sketch green and gray. This paper that I'm using here, it has some problem with the sizing. So you can see the paper texture is starting to come off. It's not good. This paper is actually Archer's paper, but there is, I think this particular batch of paper has some problems. So this is the whole thing here. So notice the magenta. I'm going to keep some of the mirrors in, in white.
So this is the completed sketch drawn with pen and ink and colored with only two colors, phthalo green and this gray, which is a mixture of phthalo green and queen crayon magenta. And it looks very interesting. This sketch has a pretty somber look and feel to it. So the Dr. Peach Martin's India ink, it's truly waterproof when drying and it works great with watercolor, just that with the glass pen that I was using, the ink doesn't flow that well. But I still like the effect, I like how striking that color is and you can still see the lines show through the watercolor very nicely. So as a finishing touch, I added some words using the white gel pen. That's the Sakura Jelly Roll. So all this wash area here, this is phthalo green and quinacridone magenta. Notice this section here where, the, where you can almost see the paper fiber. This is where the sizing has gone wrong. So this paper that I have here, this has some problematic sizing. On this side, we have the tall residential buildings. This paper, this is the hot press watercolor paper, by the way. And the sizing here, it seems to be fine compared to the opposite page. So this is just a two-tone wash. We have the light tone and then we have the mid to the darker tone. There is no black. I wanted to mix black, but um, when the watercolor dried, it dried lighter than I wanted. But I think it's good in this case because at least I can still see the pen and ink lines uh, show through. So these are the motorbikes. If you can actually um, identify them. This is 100% cotton watercolor paper. So the colors, they blend quite nicely into each other. So we can get these beautiful gradations like this. Very smooth gradations. So all these are the aircon units, the balcony. This coloring style is not what I usually use, but it's definitely very interesting. I'm going to try out other color combinations in the future. So this is something you can try out. Let me know in the comment section if you do and whether or not you like it. Thanks for watching today's video. See you in the next one. Bye.